Hey guys, so today I want to give you a makeup tutorial and also talk to you about how to give main character energy with your makeup. That's what we're doing today. So I was actually getting ready for an event for About Face and I knew that I was going to be meeting Halsey. Now, I think a time when you, when you know that you're gonna be meeting Halsey, you wanna give main character energy, you know what I mean? So I wanted to film this so that I could show you kind of my process and also so that I could, you know, kind of reflect and talk to you about that process. So I love to start off with skincare, making skincare my priority. So you can see that I'm putting the under eye patches pretty low um, below my lower lash line so that I can apply makeup to my lower lash line so that that doesn't get in the way. Now, my creative process when it comes to this kind of thing, when I wanna make a serious impact with my makeup and use it as more of a creative outlet is very go with the flow. I do not plan at all. I will sometimes like scroll Instagram or check out Pinterest to see like, what vibe do I want? Uh, but I rarely use reference photos. I typically just kind of like grab you know, products that I wanna use, or I don't know, I might have a feeling or something, and then I just go. I have been starting with my eyes recently, and I think that this is a really good way to start, to be completely honest with you. I'm not gonna talk through all of the products, obviously I'm showing them all. They will all be linked down below. Personally, I think that one of my favorite ways to express my creativity with my makeup is with my eyes. I don't typically switch up my lips that often. Uh, you know, my base ends up being pretty much the same. I have decent eyelid, uh, <laughs> a lash line between eyebrow space. So I really love to play this up. Now, my process for this look actually stemmed from some insecurities that I've had recently about my eyelid shape, how it's changed as I've gotten older. Um, I recently uploaded a video that was kind of about, or if it's not up, it will be up soon. That was about like navigating a step in your lash line, or sorry, in your eyelid. Uh, you know, you get older and your skin starts to change and makeup is just different. So this entire shape that I'm creating right now was kind of inspired by me trying to figure out how to navigate these changes in my eyelids. And I thought this would be a really great opportunity for this because I was going to something that meant something to me and I wanted to make an impo impact. I wanted to feel comfortable and confident in myself. So I have also spoken <laughs> before that voiceovers are kind of necessary when I do this kind of look because it's a very meditative process for me. I really think that that should be a main focus. If you are someone who does your makeup and it is meditative, I feel like the first thing you want to do is make that the priority. Let the people know around you that this is going to be my time. I need to be left alone so that I can focus 100% on this thing and I can, you know, express myself the way that I, I truly want to. You need those outlets. That is what makeup is for me. So the first step, I think, this first step that I'm talking about is really about like figuring out what is it? What is this thing that I want to portray? Or what do I want to, what do I want the main focus to be? For me, it ended up being my eyes. I knew my, my eyes were going to be the impact, the statement. Um, and then obviously I love to go in and really take my time with my skin prep. I personally think that the best thing to do is to take your time and play up the things that you love the most. Now, I have been loving the way my skin's been looking. I, you know, I had some breakouts recently, but overall my skin tone, my, I feel like my skincare has been going really, really well, and I wanted to play that up. I also love, love, love to define my face. I love to create contrast. I love to contour. I love to highlight. I love those things. It's all part of the painting process for me. So this part, I will be completely honest with you. This is a 15 minute long video. This makeup look probably took from start to finish like two hours long. <laughs> like People often ask how long it takes me to do my makeup. I take my time. 
okay? And I really think that that is like a huge part of it. Something that I really wanna stress here, especially if you are trying to give off main character energy, if you are trying to create a look that you are going to feel incredibly confident in, is not to follow trends. Do not follow any kind of a trend, unless you like it. Now, there are trends out there that I think are really useful. I, I, I love a trend. Who doesn't love a trend? When something pops up, this thing is in now, and it works for you, and you love it, then you should absolutely go for it. At least give it a try, because you often end up learning some things from it. However, if you are forcing yourself to do something that doesn't work for you, or that you feel uncomfortable in, you are it's missing the point. It's completely missing the point. Now I am doing a full face of makeup. I am going glam. I love doing this thing. Like I sp said, I love to highlight. I love to contour. I'm going all in. If you're someone who does not like that, then you should not feel like you have to do that. If you are someone who doesn't like wearing any foundation, maybe you only like wearing like a little bit of blush, but you love to go in on your eyes or your lips, do that. Whatever you feel is the most comfortable for you and the most confident you feel, then don't force yourself to do those other things. I think the main thing is really to find something that not only you feel confident in, that you know you can do, but that makes you feel like such a badass when you're wearing it. I went to uh, an event recently uh, before this one and I did my makeup and I kind of did it like I thought it looked beautiful but I didn't feel my like confident self and I think the main reason for that was because I just did the like regular old glam I did like predictable and I remember getting to the event and feeling very insecure and just like not 100% myself now this time for whatever reason and I think it was because I went into this thinking, I want to express myself creatively. I want to do something fun. This, I felt so comfortable and confident in the makeup that I was wearing. I felt oddly calm. <laughs> if you have watched my channel before, you would know that I am not a huge fan of events, um, mostly because I'm just like, I am uncomfortable in those kinds of situations. I am not a, like command the room kind of a person. Uh, like I said, I knew that I was going to be meeting Halsey at this event. So I was very nervous in my brain, but as I was doing my makeup, as I went through this whole routine, I felt so calm at the end of it. Like I didn't have that typical anxiety that I, that I usually do when I'm going to an event, that feeling of like, I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know who's gonna be there, who am I gonna talk to, is it gonna be awkward, am I gonna be awkward? I didn't feel that. And I think it was because I used this very much as that meditation. It's therapeutic. It's, it was literally like warming myself up to comfortability by you know using this as an outlet, as a creative outlet. Something that I have a lot of respect for and I, um, I often am pretty jealous of are anyone, anyone who just wears, who doesn't like cover up, who doesn't contour, who doesn't change their face, but who just goes in with like clean skin and uh, maybe something creative on their eyes or lips or draws something on their face. Like I am so envious of having the confidence and comfortability to be able to just like sit down and only use my face as a canvas and not just like completely change things. Now, like I said, I love contouring. I love highlighting. Like the ability that I have to be able to manipulate certain features, that's something, that's an art that I really respect about makeup. And I do love that. But I also have such reverence for people who, you know, don't do those things. So something that I really want people to take away from this little chat that we're having is you should own, own the way that you look, no matter what it is. If you are someone who has severe acne, maybe you have like cystic acne on your temples, on your cheeks, whatever it is, I do not want you to feel like you have to cover that up. I've spoken to a lot of people about 
insecurities when it comes to skin. And I know that we pretty much all have them. You know, I'll say something about, oh, my skin is breaking out like crazy. And I'll receive comments from people who say, your skin looks so beautiful. And that's the same thing with, I, I was remember speaking to somebody who was like, oh my God, I have the biggest pores. And I was like, all I can look at is how stunningly beautiful your skin is. Like your skin tone, it's clear, it's beautiful. When you just own what you already have, when you just own it, if you're just like taking care of yourself, you're drinking your water, you do your skincare, you, you wear like bomb ass eyeshadow or like a sick like ombre lip or something, that's what people are looking at. No one is thinking less of you because of cystic acne or, you know, frown lines or, you know, I don't know, whatever other people have insecurities about. No one is focusing on those things. In fact, they're probably looking at you like, I want to be as confident as that person. So if we're talking about main character energy, how to be the main character in the video game movie of your life, <laughs> it is all about not feeling like you have to do certain things, but doing things that you want to do, expressing yourself the way you want to, and not doing it in a in your face, fuck you kind of way, but in a, this is who I am, this is what I love, and I'm going to do it no matter what. I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video because I know for a lot of people, it's really interesting to kind of see like, or hear, I guess, a reflection after I've already done a makeup look. And there was a lot, I mean, there was a lot after this one. This was like a really big night for me and I thought it would be really nice to share it with you guys. Plus, I really couldn't get over how different I felt after taking time to, for myself and just kind of like doing my makeup for me. Often when I am doing my makeup, I feel like, oh, I should like, I should film this and I should talk through it so that I can like, you know, whatever, I don't know. Some people like the voiceovers, some people prefer talk throughs. Me personally, I prefer talk throughs. So that's why, you know, I tend to film them. But being able to, you'll notice that the camera goes out of focus a few times because I'm not focused on the camera. No offense guys, love you. But like, I'm not focused on the fact that I'm filming this video for people and I am only doing what I want to be doing in this moment. And I think that that is the most important thing. One of the most important things about makeup that I've learned one of the things that drew me to it is, was the fact that it can be used as an art. Is this eye look not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Like, I know it's not like perfectly done. It's not perfectly clean. It's not like super colorful or anything, but it's just like looking at it now, I just, I loved it. I loved it so much. In fact, when I met Halsey, we were chatting for a little while. She's dope as fuck, by the way. We were chatting for a little while and then we took some photos together and she said when we were up close, she was like, I thought those were stickers when you were further away. And I was like, that is such a compliment. Obviously use the eye paint, so, you know, shout outs. But truly, if you are someone who loves makeup or maybe you're just interested in makeup in general and you wanna start wearing it and you feel like you, it's something that you want to use to express yourself, there is nothing better than doing something that makes you feel comfortable or confident and then receiving a compliment from someone else who loves it just as much as you. That is why I do this makeup. That is why I did this. I loved it so much. Uh, I hope that you guys wanna see more creative stuff from me because I can't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Uh, this is the finished look. All the products are linked down below. <laughs> Baloo, I think I just said. Uh, yeah, Halsey was dope as fuck. I nothing more to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and all the things and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>